Welcome to another music production tutorial in Ableton Live. In this video I will teach you how to use MIDI effects. Just make sure to select your favorite clip. I will choose something like this. Or maybe something like this. Now it's time to select MIDI effects. Go to MIDI effects arpeggiator. This gives your piano an arpeggio. Make sure that the notes are long enough. Feel free to experiment with range, distance and rate, which is how fast will it be generated. I like this rhythm, but I want it to be slower. Just make sure to experiment to see what sounds better for you. If you want deeper octaves, move the distance to negative. If you want more steps, or if you want to change the kind of those arpeggiators. You can also add a bigger number of repeats, which is how many times it will repeat. You can also add pitch bend, it will sound funny with the CC control. <laughs> you can have fun adding various MIDI controls and effects. Now let's move to the next MIDI effect. You can try to add some other kind of instrument, like pad. Oh, I like it! With the mod wheel you can adjust the modulation. I have a MIDI controller, so I'm moving the mod wheel and it sounds fascinating. <laughs> You can also add a MIDI effect rack and a MIDI monitor, which shows which notes are playing. This is a cool feature, you should add it because you want to know what are the notes. This is some MPE control, it will make some pitch bending to the sound, it will change the notes. This might be perfect for some experimental sound purposes. But I want to go back to my regular sound and add some more effects. As you can probably see, the length is the length of the notes. Oh, that's too long. Just make it shorter. Oh, this sounds even better. I like those short notes. Might be perfect for some minimal beat. This is the pitch band. You can play with the pitch of the sounds and make different chords with this sound effect. I mean, MIDI effect. You can also change the kinds of arpeggiator. The small rectangles show how the notes are going. You can also add the randomizer, it will randomize the notes. This might sound weird because some notes might be articulated. Now let's move back to the ARP. You can change different kinds, like convergent. You can change the speed and distance. This might be perfect for a video game but make it slower if you want some dramatic melody. There are multiple kinds of arpeggiators, and as you can see, those notes describe how the notes are going, when you have a harmony. You can also articulate the frequencies and notes, 
with a MIDI monitor you can see how the notes are being played. But actually, what you see in the MIDI monitor are the keys that are currently in the MIDI clip. Now, for the next part I will show you something even better. Load a new clip. You can select any clip, but you can keep the same sound. With a pad, you can make something that will sound like a warrior's sound effect for a video game. This might be perfect for ambient sounds. So make sure to use these settings if you want to make some ambient sound effects for a long video or for a background. You can also add some What you have heard right now is the randomizer. controls and even change sounds. Now you know everything about the MIDI effects. Feel free to play with all those parameters and make your favorite music with those very cool MIDI effects. If you have something to ask, write in the comments. Consider subscribing and I will make more videos about music production. Have a good day and happy producing. Goodbye!